Well, hello there, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and this morning, got myself a cup of tea ready, so it's time for one of those morning chats, chums, in the view of us. Ooh. But what are we talking about? What are we chatting about today? Well, we're talking about No Man's Sky today, people in the view of us. Thank you, yes. Let's jump on over. Inside of game. I think we're starting inside of game. Cool. So... A few people have been saying to me, Captain Steve, what do you think is most likely to come in February? Um, I think there would be maybe an expedition. There's a couple of reasons why I think that would be. There's an item inside of the freighter under this panel over here. I click this up. Boom. And I go into customize an appearance. And if we go into engines, there is one engine item here. Sentinel. Now uh, the Sentinel ship trail, and you can see there, it's got a padlock. It's locked. So that is not currently inside of game. There's also something else that's not inside of game, but is inside of the game files that came into Waypoint. Let me show you that for a second. So if I pop on over to here. Boom. And yeah, it's it's this one here. This is sent over to me by Kurt, No Man's Sky Assistant app. But there, it's, a, it's a solar helmet. And the actual description tag here is Hero 1 Sail Helm. Okay, now all these other ones that have got Hero 1 sort of tagged to them. You've got the switch sort of bits and bobs. Well, we've got those, but we haven't got this solar helmet. These capes are coming into the Quicksilver store. And you can see here they've got like a yellow backing. So it's, it's not related to those. It's not a Quicksilver item. So I'm wondering whether it might be an expedition item. And the expedition hasn't popped yet. Inside of the Waypoint Update files, there was also something else under Expedition. When you go into Expedition here, you can see there, there's some Atlas Passes. And curiously, it goes up to Atlas Pass 1, 2, and 3, which we can get. But then there's two other Atlas Passes sitting inside of there. But I think these are markers for Rendezvous Points. So I think maybe the next Expedition, we might be using Atlas cars to gain access to some sort of rendezvous point, maybe? Who freaking knows? But they're Atlas cards, nonetheless, floating around in clouds. <laughs> Pretty darn nice. But yeah, those badges are for an Expedition. They're just placeholders. Now, everything else for the Expedition inside of the files for the Waypoint update was just a copy and paste of a previous Expedition. But it kind of hints that there is one on the way. And it's odd, though, that that solar helmet is sitting inside the Quicksilver folder, which sort of throws me through a bit of a loop there. There you go, sail helmet. I keep calling it a solar helmet. It's the sail helmet, but it's for the solar ships. You know, or are they called sail ships or are they called solar ships? Who freaking knows? But anyway, that's the helmets that sit in there that we don't got right now. So I think that's got a very good chance of coming inside of game. What else has got a good chance of coming inside of game? Well, while I'm up on the freighter bridge, let's just go and see the actual freighter sort of pilot. So in the last expedition, um, we managed to get a bit of tech that allowed us to open up the singularity drive and jump through black holes. Well, in any other save, this is my legacy normal save, you've still got the option, but we can't build the tech. That tech is not buildable tech on our freighters right now. So we can't sort of like just hit that up and jump through the singularity drive it's it's not there it's not inside of normal save but do you remember when we had the emergence the emergence sort of expedition and it gave us the worm babbers and all that lot on the planets and picking up worm spawn and all that that didn't drop into game until a couple of updates later across all saves now all infested planets have those worm babies popping up all over them so i'm wondering whether that singularity drive is going to be coming into our normal iterations to what end though why do we need to jump through black holes other than to get to the center a bit quicker but then people just go onto the portal exchange grab a portal code or just put in the first glyph all the way along and it takes you quite close to the center anyway so i kind of feel that it's redundant tech if it comes in as is i kind of feel that black holes need to be repurposed for something else maybe entering into the void or into the realm of glass or something who freaking knows but i'm i'm wondering whether they're going to rejig that a little bit 
The other thing that's inside of game at the moment that doesn't really have any rhyme or reason is the station overrides. You can see here I've got quite a lot of them. If you go to pirate systems and hit up the missions agent, they often offer them as rewards for doing set missions. So I've got all these legit. I haven't sort of duplicated these or anything like that. I've been getting these. Every time I see one in a pirate sort of station, I'm like, okay, you know, let's run that mission. Let's grab one of them. And I've been hoarding them. To what end, though? I don't know what the station override is going to do. I mean, when you go to the station core, inside the station it says flight path initiator so it does make me wonder whether there's something to do with adjusting the flight paths for exotic ships flying in the spawn rate has been reduced for the exotics inside the system so maybe there's going to be a way of getting the exotic to fly in a bit quicker right so what else do i think they might deliver into the verse well, now that we've got Nintendo Switch players joining into the fray, and there is one thing, well, there's a couple of things with Switch that's slightly broken, but one of the main things that's slightly broken is settlements. Settlements, they just don't have them on the Nintendo Switch for whatever reason. It could be that the procedural element to actually procedurally generate these sort of settlements just doesn't work too well on the old Switch, you know? Um, so yeah, there is that. I'm just going to warp over to my settlement, but why it's warping, I might as well have a bit more tea and have a little bit of a breather. Oh, that's a good cup of tea. That's a lovely cup of tea, that one. Freaking heck yes it is. So yeah, now the settlements themselves are pretty darn gnarly. Here you go, I've called mine Wisconsin. I did make a little video trailer called No Man's Sky Wisconsin. I'd done sort of like a trolley sort of update thing. Somebody put an article out there about No Man's Sky Wisconsin that's sort of like a, a, a joke or a jest or something. I don't know whether it's April Fool's or something, but yeah. Anyway, these are slightly broken. You see here mine says B class. When Whenever my Sentinel sort of um, level goes right up to 100%, I mean you can see it's 100 actually you can't see. I'm in the blinking way. Let's see if I can move myself out of the way just for a second. Mm, dun -dun -dun -dun, cam frame, let's uh, just make that invisible for a second. And where's my webcam? Make that invisible. Yeah, so my Sentinel alert level is 100%. So technically, I should get attacked by Sentinels any time now. And then after I've been attacked by Sentinels and got rid of the Sentinels, usually that changes. That class goes from like a B class, sometimes to a C, sometimes to an A, sometimes to an S. It just... Uh, it doesn't really work. The rank system here doesn't actually really work. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Or if it has been fixed, it hasn't been in the patch notes that it's been fixed. Anyway, let's go over here. For whatever reason, I'm not getting attacked by the Sentinels, even though my level is at 100% right now. When you get given building opportunities inside of here, that, that can be a little bit weird too. Um, it doesn't actually always give you a marker for where your building opportunity is. So it's actually really hard to navigate and find things inside of here. Citizens request. It looks like I've got to yeah, endorse the event. Go on. You have your event, little guys. Nice. But yeah, there's that that's a little bit broken as well. And also with the settlement, something that's very broken. If I go over to the marketplace. Oh, here we go. Now the Sentinels have decided to attack. Righto. Brilliant. Let's, uh, let's take these out. So it was a B class before. Let's just take out these Sentinels and we'll see if my class changes at all. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. I, there's no real sort of rhyme or reason for which way it goes, but there we go. Now, beforehand though, these Sentinels, when they used to shoot me before, they never used to do damage. They fixed that. that that's now been fixed. But there's quite a lot with set settlements that is a little bit weird. It's like you're the overseer of this settlement, yeah? And you're supposed to really look after your townsfolk. Yet I don't know any of my townsfolk's names. If I go and speak to the townsfolk, sometimes they say that they're bored or they're upset or they're hungry or whatever. There's no sort of interaction to do a mission to actually improve their sort of status or their standing or to, you know, make them feel a little bit more positive about life. Most of them are walking around with little speech bubbles above their head. Really forlorn. Okay, there's two more sentinels remaining. Where the fudge are they? Um, somewhere around here? I can't blink it. There's one. Okay, Corleo, let's go get him. Yeah, so I'm playing on a bit of a smaller screen at the moment. And I'm, I've got my PC open and I'm doing that screen. But at the moment I'm, paying, I'm playing in a little window the size like a postage stamp. Well, postcard, I should say. And take that, Sentinel. Yeah, if I'm not doing as, normal, as good as I normally am, that's probably why. There's the last remaining blinking one. I saw something pop up over here. Here we go. Sentinel somewhere around here. Is he up on this blinking roof? Is he behind this flag? Yes, he is. The little git was hiding. 
And take that, you, you freaking sentinel scatter. Kaboom! Yes, become a beer can, you. Yes, I also love that stuff. Okay, cool. Right, let's go back to that center monolith and let's go and have a look see. At my standing now, people. It's probably going to still see a B class, isn't it? Just proving wrong. But here we go, let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's B class. <laughs> <laughs> they used to change, honest people. It freaking did. It probably would if I wasn't streaming this right now. Yeah, I don't think that 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 sort of um, overview or the the actual rating really <laughs> amounts to much, to be honest. I think when it hits about fifty percent, it would go back to being an, an S class, and then as soon as I do the sensible interaction or it hits a hundred percent, then it drops to a B. I think it's that way around. <laughs> so when it hits a hundred percent, it drops to a B class. And then when it hits 50%, it gets back to an S or something like that. But here's like one of the little messages over here. Oh, you disappeared just as I was approaching. Sometimes when you hover over them, sometimes it says preparing for work. You know, if I interact with him now, he won't even mention his work. He says welcome overseer. Nice. Okay, cool. But that little message will change quite often. And sometimes they can be quite negative. And you think, oh, I want to improve that. You can't. There's nothing that you can really improve. Anyway, what I was, I, was, I was talking about was the marketplaces, wasn't it? Let's see if we can find a marketplace. Marketplace, marketplace, where are you? There's one over there. It'd be nice to get a little mini-map of the actual settlement as well, because you can get lost quite easily. Now, there's a bit of a bug. Now, Hello Games put out there that they would fixed it. So, if you talk to an agent from the front, this is the menu that you're supposed to see. Okay, lovely. Claudio, and you can purchase components and all sorts of stuff from them, usually quite helpfully type ones, pretty darn sweet. Claudio, a little bit like what you find at Mine Settlements and stuff like that. Um, but if I go around this side and talk to the agent from the back, I might just have to try and get over all this guttery stuff there. If I talk to him from the rear, he gets stuck. No menu pops up. And that's been broken for freaking eons. So I think that because settlements don't work for Nintendo Switch as they are, and because there's so many sort of like mini quirks and bugs and workarounds with the, the settlements as they are anyway, and game crashing bugs like this one that they just haven't fixed, I honestly think they're going to do a, a settlements overhaul. Now there were other content creators that suggested that maybe they might give us the, set, the settlement parts separately, because they are in the game files and you can set them as build, buildable items using mods um, they feel that maybe we might be able to build our own settlements out and make it a little bit less procedurally generated i don't know i don't know but i think it's going to get an overhaul mainly because switch can't actually interact with their settlements right now they can't use them so i think they're going to have to do something a little bit of tweaking to get it to work on switch but at the same time they, they definitely need some work anyway on all platforms so i think that's probably going to come into the verse so that's pretty much everything that I've got for you, really, when it comes to what I think is going to come in February. But they're the things that I think are most in need or most sort of highlighted or the things that just need tying up. Um, other things that I feel could potentially happen is you, at the moment at the Quicksilver store, you can actually purchase Myth Beacons. The Myth Beacon dropped in like Expedition 2 or something when we got the uh, Normandy ship flying, you know, the big frigate. Um, yeah, so at the moment you, you can't use them, but you can buy them. But why? Why can you buy them? I think they might do some sort of overhaul perhaps to the Quicksilver missions and how you run Quicksilver missions. Again, the reason why I'm saying that is Switch players can't run Quicksilver missions as they are right now. So I think they might be doing an overhaul to Quicksilver missions and how you can earn Quicksilver. And I think they're going to tie the Myth Beacons into that and maybe do some sort of reworking of the Nexus missions and maybe the weekend missions. And being that it might be coming to other platforms such as iOS, maybe they might be holding on to that a little bit longer before they actually implement it. Um, but yeah, it, it may happen. It may happen. Um, so I'm thinking that. And that's. I think that's about it. I think that's pretty much everything that's inside of my head right now. Oh, and also the summer law from about two years ago, the one where they actually got a professional writer in, Greg Buchanan. He wrote some awesome law for those weekend missions sort of around Ariadne and Ariadne going missing into the realm of glass or the, the void. She went to board a dark freighter, the Ariadne that we've got in the, um, the, the anomaly right now. She's an imposter. She's a doppelganger. She's not the real Ariadne. 
she's been replaced by something that we don't know what it is basically and it kind of just left it at that it was left on a bit of a cliff edge but i would like to see all that weekend mission lore because there was some beautiful crafted lore in there brought into the iteration as a separate story you know a bit like the artemis quest line so everybody can enjoy all of that backstory and lore and understand what went on with ariadne and i think they might deliver that in but that's sort of like my speculation and what i hope to see happen in february and it's very loose speculation Speculation, but it is based on things that uh, happened inside of game it's based on things inside of the game files and it's based on things that are slightly broken that don't work on all platforms right now that may need a bit of a rework so i'm not just speculating on nothing i am going on something but um yeah it's 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 definitely not official so don't set this as expectation it's just logical thinking and gut feeling speculation there we go people i haven't even freaking finished my tea i don't know where we can see the level look oh i still got almost a full freaking mug right there i'm gonna have to get on and drink this people in the view of us but chin chin yeah there we go well cheers people in the view of us and thanks for joining us this is still sterling hot how long have i been going for this mug this mug definitely keeps your beverages warm people in the view of us and it's available in my merch store if you want to join me for these sessions go grab yourself one <laughs> <laughs> anyway people that's a bit of a shameless plug sorry uh, yeah I've, I've got i've got to earn a living i've got to get fed right anyway <laughs> take care people goodbye goodbye and goodbye again